Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here. We're back in the shave den and I've got some cool items to show you today. First of all, uh, the soap and the aftershave from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement. And it's a uh, black shroud. And black shroud is an homage to, is it wood hue? The only cologne, a fragrance, there we go, not cologne, the only fragrance that Dean Martin would wear. Uh, originally released in 1944, Woodhue uh, had been discontinued, of course, and Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements have brought it back to life. Now, I don't know if this is the same scent. I'll probably have to ask Doug. But when I was at the uh, shave meetup in Huntington Beach, and uh, Doug was there with uh, uh, Matt from Razor Emporium, and they had an original bottle of the fragrance that Dean Martin would uh, would wear. Uh, and it held up, it had been uh, it had been preserved very well, and it smelled very good. I don't know if this is it, but uh, it must be. So I'm very happy to try this for the first time today. And it's got a, a, a really nice scent. Let's see, it's menthol, the top notes. I got my notes right here. Menthol, mint, and rose. The middle notes are sandalwood, spice, and floral. Bottom notes are vetiver, woody, and vanilla. And, uh, you know, Dean Martin, uh, growing up, Matt Helm, I mean, he was the American James Bond. You know, Matt Helm was an awesome show. If you haven't seen it, check out, uh, check out The Wrecking Crew. If you, uh, uh, it's Shannon Tate's in that one too. And if you've watched Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, you can see that's the one that uh, uh, they, they kind of show in the background at, uh, in Hollywood at one of the movie theaters. So I'm gonna try these out today. Then I'm even more excited about a new razor. Now this razor is not on their site yet. It's coming soon. I don't know when, uh, it's just a sneak preview. I was very glad to get this razor to try. It was one of the razors I was hoping to shave off my goatee with, and I'm growing my goatee back out for November, so maybe I'll use it to take it off uh, at the end of November. But here is the unboxing. I think it warrants a nice unboxing. All right, so let's see what we've got from Phoenix Shaving here. Here we go. The artifact. Now, it's Phoenix Shaving's 10th year as a company. So 10 years, I guess, it went pretty quick for them. And if you see their items, you know they have quite a few razors and a ton of soaps and aftershaves. But let us see what we have here. Very nice box. All right, so let's take a look at what is inside. Ten years. Whew! Ten years Phoenix Artisan has been around. All right. The artifact. And this is a cleaning cloth. I was privy to opening this a little bit earlier. This is a cleaning cloth. I'm going to leave it in there because it's put nice and, uh, nice and neatly. I don't want to disturb it. And, I mean, look at this. There we go. So a great travel kit, right off the bat. A great travel kit. You've got your blades you could have in here. And the razor. Here we go. It's Bakelite. Like the uh, 1920s Gillette's, the handles. Nice and light. This is gold-plated brass. And it's open comb with plastic. Or might be Bakelite, but I know this is Bakelite. This is probably plastic. Open comb. The artifact. Got a little bit of coloring on it. Swirl, and there's your gold-plated cap. So I am looking forward to trying this out today. And, uh, yeah, it's not going to get damaged in here. That's for sure. Very, very, very nice presentation. 
I don't know the cost of this yet because it is not on their website, but uh, it is coming. Look at that. Very nice. All right. Well, back to the shaved in. Oh, man. Nice, nice, nice razor. So I'm going to be trying this for the first time today. And I'm going to be using, uh, might as well use one of the Phoenix blades, the Stranglet, or Stranglet, Stranglet. We're going to try this. I've had a lot of luck with them before. This is a brand new packet. I'm going to open it up. Very good. Been a busy week. Uh, my daughter moved out over the weekend. She got engaged. She's in a, in a house now, her own house. It was a housewarming party. It's been a week. So uh, we're going to probably have my in-laws staying with us a lot more often. Uh, had her bedroom was completely clean. So we painted the walls, got new, uh, new furniture. So in fact, within a few minutes, you're going to hear my dog go nuts because the in-laws are going to be arriving. It's my wife's birthday yesterday. We're taking her out to dinner tonight. So it's been a whole week. That's why I have not been with you. But I'm back now. It's not a job, it's a hobby. If it was a job, I'd be here, you know, quite often, but uh, it's a hobby, so I'm here as much, as often as I can. All right, here we go. Gold-plated brass. Open comb base. And bake light handle. It's got overhang. You can see you can hang onto the blade. The alignment looks quite good. Very, very, very nice razor. Coming soon. And I do appreciate uh, getting a preview and getting to show you these before they're even available. So. And by the way, I cheated on this. I smell this. It smells very good. Oh, very good. And since I'm going out tonight for my uh, wife's birthday, this is going to be the uh, scent I'm going to be wearing. All right. Let me grab my Using brush. the uh, Heritage Edition, the homage to the vintage Ever Readies. So let's get this in here. You've seen me use this brush before. But it's nice to uh, continue using them in the rotation. All right. And the soap is the CK6 formula, so it's going to be very slick. Now, a lot of times the soap isn't as strong as the aftershave. In this case, this is as strong as the aftershave. So it's going to be a really nice shave with a really nice scent. So I cannot wait to try that. And I think we're about ready. Let's get this shave started, shall we? Wet the face a bit. And I did mention Movember is coming up. So I'm going to be growing my goatee out uh, for Movember to bring awareness for uh, men and women to uh, be proactive in getting uh, examined for cancer, you know, getting their examinations, pre-cancer screenings and, and all. So a lot of us will be growing out our mustaches or our beards for uh, Movember. I don't grow a good beard. I get a patchy beard, and I, but I do get a decent goatee, so I'm gonna be doing the goatee. All right. Oh, very nice. Right out of the bat, we have the overflow. So it is lathering, just like all of the PAA soaps do. Yeah, that scent is strong. And I, again, this scent should be available on the website now. It probably is available on the website now. But I know I was just looking for the razor, and it is not there yet. Now, Doug Smythe reads the comments you guys have. So sometimes, uh, you know, if you have a comment, when's it coming? I'm going to try to find out. I'm, you know... It's coming soon, but uh, what a cool package. You know what? Here we go. 
I'll paint the face even though I'm not going to shave the goatee. All right, open comb. Very nice. New shavers, be careful with open combs. They can cut you and nick you pretty good because they give you a super close shave. You seasoned wet shavers know what I mean. You want to get a razor that, uh, I'll, you know, based on your skin, your beard type, pair it with a blade based on your skin, your beard type. All right. Very light. Thought it would be slippery, but it's not too slippery. There we go. If you're new to the channel, I usually cut my neck right here. For whatever reason, sometimes I get lucky. We're taking my wife out for a surprise and she does watch these videos, so I can't tell you where I'm going. But uh, maybe I'll get some footage of when I'm there and I'll put it in an upcoming video because it sounds pretty fun to me. My daughter, my son set it all up. I'm just kind of going along for the ride. Yeah, a lot of soaps. When I put them on, I can smell them, but it's a very subtle smell. It's not too strong. This is nice. This would probably count as the cologne should I choose not to wear it. After I wash it off, I'm sure the scent would still be there. All right. Have you watched any movies? Getting ready for Halloween? I was in Home Goods looking for crystal skulls, believe it or not. And there are no more Halloween items on display. They're over in a corner on a closeout. It's all Christmas stuff now. We're not even at Halloween yet. I know, I know, you all seen it too. Got to go to the dermatologist. Got me a little uh, skin irritation there. I'm going in a couple of weeks. Proactive. Now, I kind of like this plastic open comb because sometimes the metal ones, and you know what I'm talking about, can kind of feel like they're raking your skin. This doesn't feel like that. Another good movie if you're not uh, Dean Martin, familiar with Dean Martin, watch The Cannonball Run. One funny comedy from 1980. Makes Roger Moore, James Bond's in there. You know, he he's in there. Uh, a funny, funny movie. And uh, if you haven't seen it, check out The Cannonball Run. Shave towel back. Got soap in the ears. There we go. You see the goatee kind of starting now. It's got an outline. You see, uh, I gotta go get my skin burned off. If you can get a shave without a nick, it's a good day. And it's very smooth. The soap, well, again, you know, it's your soap, it's your blade, it's your razor, and how, uh, you know, 
what combo is best for your skin. Here we go. I can anticipate what's coming. They do use alcohol in uh, <laughs> Phoenix Artists in accoutrements aftershaves. All right. Yes, they do. Ooh. Very nice scent. Very good. It, it's amazing how these, well, obviously these, the, the people who do aftershaves and soaps, and they're the kind of chemists, you know, are able to, to match it so dang close. And it does smell very, very good. So, yeah, I wonder if my father-in-law would recognize the scent. Would you? I'm going to have to look and see when would you was discontinued. But uh, way to go, Dean Martin. I'm uh, feeling your vibe right now. I'll, uh, I'll uh, go out and get a nice cigarette. No, I'm not. Dean, <laughs> you always had a cigarette and a, and a glass of, uh, of whatever alcohol he was drinking. Uh, what a guy. And he had a variety show, too. So here we go. An homage to Dean Martin. Pulled off well by Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements. Very good. Well, thank you, everybody. Sorry about the delay. You know, family stuff has to, you know, take precedence over work and hobbies, I was told. And painting, <laughs> moving furniture, moving people in and out. Uh, that's what I've been up to. And I think I'm over my cold. You know, it's a little windy outside, so that kind of aggravates things, but uh, feeling good. Stay safe. Thank you for watching. I look forward to seeing you all very, very soon. Until next time.